Welcome back to the channel guys, my name is Muffley and today we're going to be learning how to solo tame a Utyrannus. So let's go over the first couple things that we're going to need. First off, we're going to need either an RG or a Quetzal. Preferably I choose a Quetzal because of the platform saddle, I'm able to build on top of it, letting me get a wider range of shooting downward. Now we're also going to need a long neck rifle, 10 to 80 trank darts, any type of ranged weapon, whether it's a crossbow, all the way out to a sniper rifle, that way we can take out any dinos surrounding it. And as for taming purposes, you don't really need narcotics, however I still would recommend to bring some. 10 to 60 should be okay. And finally, the preferred food for the Utyrannus is the Kentrosaurus kibble. 10 to 60 preferred, or you can use raw mutton, depending on the level, 15 to 90. Some optional items I recommend bringing are Gilly Armor, and possibly spike fences depending on the location of where the Utyrannus goes down. That way you can protect yourself and the down Utyrannus from being eaten. As you can see here, I'm using a platform saddle on top of my quets. You do not need to establish a build as I did here. This is just a mobile base unit that I've made. Even if you don't have a platform saddle, a normal saddle should do just fine. When you dismount off the quetzal, you'll still be standing on top of it, allowing you to look down and shoot any enemies below you. One element I want to know about the Utyrannus when you're attempting to tame it is to try to keep your distance from it. Its roar will cause your dinos to go into a scared state. This scared state will last around 21 seconds, so just be aware that it also has a potential to knock you off your mount. Your dino will fly around or move around uncontrollably, so you could end up in a dangerous position. This is why I recommend using a Quetzal or an RG, that way you can keep a higher up distance and shoot downward. With that element into play, let's begin looking for the Utyrannus to tame. It's extremely easy to spot a Utyrannus, for two simple reasons. One, its roar can be heard from an extremely far distance, and two, you can see all the carnos that are glowing yellow that follow it. Keeping on top of your dino, you're able to shoot down without getting attacked, rather than being on the ground and getting attacked by all the carnos that are following it. So staying up at this distance away from the Utyrannus, we should be safe from its roar, so that way we don't fly away uncontrollably. Using any ranged weapons, we're able to take out any of the dinos that are falling alongside the Utyrannus. Using a simple crossbow for this is also acceptable, just slightly harder to aim and shoot with. We're also able to easily tranquilize the Utyrannus from a safe distance without utilizing a lot of resources, like building a cage. Keep following the Utyrannus and tranquilizing it when you can. Eventually, it'll go down. Optionally, you can place down any spike fences, so that way you can ward off any aggressive dinos that may attempt to attack you. Place the kibble in its inventory as needed for when it's hungry. After some time, it'll eventually wake up, and you'll have yourself one tame Utyrannus. Slap your saddle on and now you can start using its roar and benefits towards you, scaring off any aggressive dinos, making it a lot easier to farm. The dinos that you attempt to use your roar on to scare them will have a little circle above their head. When that circle fills up from red to purple, the dinosaur will become scared. As you can see here, after I use the first roar, the turtles become aggressive. After the second one though, they become triggered and run away scared. Doing this will make farming meat a lot easier. Aurora doesn't work on all dinos, so just be aware when you're trying to farm meat not to get aggressive with the wrong dinos. Another extremely helpful feature with the Utyrannus is being able to use your Courage Roar to make any wild Carnos fight on your side. This can become extremely useful when you're trying to venture off into deep areas where there's a lot of aggressive dinos. The final useful feature of the Utyrannus is being able to use your troop support courage roar. When this feature is used, any friendly nearby dinos will receive a buff of reduced damage by 40%. You can tell when it's worked when the nearby dinos are glowing yellow. This can become extremely useful when fighting bosses in caves or raiding another tribe's base. That's all I have on this solo taming guide. I hope to help you guys out, and I'll be sure to see you survivors out in the arc.
What the fuck is going on here? I'm I'm semi scared. This is the weirdest glitch I've ever seen before. <laughs> yup, down, up, down. Now he's fucking sliding down the hill. Even better. I forgot about this feature that he has. I should put that in the guide. Because I, 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 I clearly...